Say good morning. So this morning, she is eating. Right now, she's eating um, her last bit of breakfast, which is these are just chocolate chip pancakes that I um, cut up, and she's enjoying using her fork. She's practicing with her fork. She loves doing it herself. So what she just got done eating is a bowl of oatmeal. She loves oatmeal, um, but I'm trying to, you know, just kind of mix it up a little bit. So she ate some oatmeal. And what else did she have? Oh, she had um, a little bit of applesauce. So she had some applesauce, oatmeal, and now some pancakes, um, which is a lot. But normally she just eats. She doesn't eat that much. But, you know, just trying to switch it up and give her different flavors and different textures and stuff. So she is enjoying practicing with her fork, doing a great job. Proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I'm taking the presents. Say hey, Daddy. Hey, y'all. So, okay, this, she's eating lunch. <clears throat> well, she's finishing up her lunch. Um, she just ate some ba pieces of a bagel, blueberry bagel. I just cut them up really small, and she really liked that. And then now she is practicing using her spoon to feed herself. This is just, um, yes, good job. This is some um, apple sauce mixed with avocado. So, apples and avocado. Yeah. Look at her. Good job. Woo. Good job. So it's really hard as a mom to, you know, let her do it, like let your child do it because you know they're going to make a mess, but that's the only way they're going to learn, you know, so I'm trying to just loosen up a little bit and let her learn if she really wants to do it herself. So, of course I won't let her do it every meal, but, you know, let her have a little fun and a little bit here and there, let her do it because she loves it. Good job. She's doing great. Good job. Look at you. Okay, I'm one year old now. I am no longer a baby. I'm a toddler. She'll always be my baby, just like, just like Ari, just like your sissy. But you're a toddler now, you got to do things on your own, huh? It's crazy how fast she's growing, she's growing so fast, but anyways, just wanted to show y'all another little idea. Um, well, this is just baby food, but she just had a bagel. Avocado. Good. Good job. You too, babe. I love you. What you doing? You did a good job. You ate a good, good amount of it. You having fun playing in it now? Ooh. <laughs> As someone who is like a little OCD, <laughs> this is hard to watch for a sec, like at first, because I know, you know, I'm gonna have, but it'll, I'll clean her up. I just put a fresh outfit on her though, but it's okay, it'll wash, you know. Just, I gotta just let her let go and let her have fun and enjoy the moment and explore her, you know textures and she's having a blast clearly so let her have fun with her food but yeah so <laughs> you doing girl and she's gonna get a bath later anyway so tgif i'm so glad it's friday yay yay pooty hey it's friday hey it's friday oh i'm so excited tomorrow is ari's party birthday party so wish us luck i think it's gonna be about five girls stay in the night so should be very crazy but very fun and i'm excited for her so <laughs> oh my gosh y'all oh, turn around for two seconds and look what happened <laughs> this is the good thing about having dogs though is that they help you clean or they help nora clean up but okay i'm about to clean her up and wow yeah she adds i think it's safe to say she enjoyed her breakfast okay so she is for breakfast. She, I just gave her some puffs, some banana puffs, and some Cheerios to hold her over while I make her oatmeal. So this is just maple brown sugar oatmeal, instant organic oatmeal, um, and she loves it. So, there. Shh. okay. Dang, Paris. Paris, stop.
Dang, she never barks like that. It's okay, calm down. But anyway, sorry y'all. Um, so yeah, so that's just what she's having for breakfast this morning. For lunch, I'm probably gonna give her these, our strawberries and blueberries. And then we also have a leftover waffle from yesterday that I made, Belgian waffle. I'll give her that and then figure out dinner later. I wanted to show y'all is I got these the other day, peanut butter and honey spread whole wheat sandwiches, the Uncrustables. So they're super easy, you know, come in little packages and they're soft. You know, once they fall out, they're soft. She can, they're little for her hands. She can eat them. So I thought this would be a great lunch. Um, and it's got honey and it's got seven grams of protein. So yeah, I'm excited about these. Uh, what's another thing I got? I got her some waffles some, some mornings. Um, I also got some frozen vegetables that I can heat up and give her some days or some evenings. Um, the fridge, fridge is a mess, but let's see. Oh, and she, of course Cheerios. She loves Cheerios. Um, and these little, little mini peanut butter sandwich crackers are good for her. So, yeah, um, I figured it would be appropriate to show y'all her, since I'm doing, like, what she eats, her, um, dinnerware or silverware or whatever. Um, so I put her bibs up here, and then, um, this is a good little container that came probably from the dollar store, um, to put, like, little odds and ends, you know, like, what she takes medicine with, um, just little pieces like that, and then... Here are some cups, um, here I, I use this, which is cool because you can just pull it out and it's got, you know, some sippy cups, then this has some sippy cups and bottles and whatnot, sorry, and then this is awesome for silverware, so I just keep all of her spoons, forks in here, and then you can just pull it out each meal, and they're her bowls, so, and I think I showed y'all before her stockpile of baby food. And by the way, for her oatmeal, her instant oatmeal, I, I mix it with water, not milk, because she apparently, um, so far, is looking like she's lactose intolerant. So we use water and just pop it in the microwave for 20 seconds in her little bowl, and I'm good to go. Yeah, she cannot eat anything with milk or anything really with cheese. Um, so even mac and cheese breaks her out. Um, it's really hard. So we're actually um, taking her to the, she's got her appointment coming up and they said that they might want to do allergy testing. So I was hoping, I mean, I'm still hoping that she'll outgrow it because I really want her to, you know, be able to eat stuff and not have to worry about it. But it breaks her face out like really, 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 really bad. Just like a tiny bit of milk um, or cheese or anything like that. So, so yeah, we have to make new, we have to get creative, don't we? Oh, thank you. And she's, this is another new thing she's doing is sharing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is how I cut up her strawberries and blueberries because they're choking hazards if they're not cut up properly. So this is, I mean, she's got a lot of teeth now. She has six teeth in the front and the, the blueberries and, and strawberries are a little bitter to her, but she likes them. I think she keeps eating them, so, excuse me. Um, and so I cut them up really small because she has teeth, but, you know, you still don't want her to choke. So I cut them up really small and we'll see how she does. <clears throat> Excuse me with that and she also ate some peanut butter crackers the little mini cracker sandwiches so she is that's what she's having for lunch and then maybe some applesauce and some water get a nap. <laughs> you gotta get a nap. You gotta get a nap, girl. You gotta get a nap. You got to get a nap. <laughs> oh, I love you, sweet girl. What oh, sweet girl. Such a sweet girl. Mm, love you. Good 
like Cheerios in your hair. Oh. <laughs> mm. China doll. My little China doll. My little pooty bear. My little pooty bear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. <gasps> Are you gonna make kiss? <laughs> so that's how you do it. Oh, you still got it in your mouth. Good job. Is it good? with our sandwich now we are trying some watermelon pieces and she's never had watermelon before so I just gave her a little bit and I cut them up really small this is I love how these bowls stick to the what they're supposed to so they have that suction on the bottom so that's helpful and look at you good job she just loves doing it herself she feels like just such a big girl and you know you can tell she really is at the age where she just really likes doing it herself isn't that right Good job. Let's see how you like it. <laughs> yes. No, no. Let's leave it right here. Look. Let me help you. Oh. And then put it in your mouth. Good job. Yes. Mmm. Watermelon. Yum. And just, well, I would watch really closely. I mean, of course, you would anyways. But the other night, the only thing I worry about with this fork is the other night she put herself in the eye with it. So, um, I'm probably, probably should have just given her the spoon. Don't tip it over, baby. Leave it right here. Leave it on your tray. You want me to dip, dump it out? Yeah. You can put it right here. But, um, you know, just be really careful. But it says that, you know, at this age they, um, can have silverware, you know, that it's for their developmental, whatever, you know, to help them learn how to use a spoon and a fork. Good job. <laughs> and she just loves it. And she enjoys the act of eating too you know not just the flavor but she just loves it so yeah it's fun this age is really fun exploring new textures colors <laughs> shapes sizes tastes flavors and i have to admit she you know since i'm having to get creative about you know what to feed her and keep it you know fresh and healthy and um it's it's actually helping me to you know eat healthier because it's making me more conscious of what i eat and a lot of times i don't eat enough you know nutrients myself so it's actually encouraging me and like re-motivating me to want to have a balanced diet too. So anyways, those are just some ideas of some snacks and different meal options that you can, you know, so hopefully that will help you guys out some. I know I'm always, myself, I'm always looking for and trying to think of ideas of what to feed her. So talk to you later. Yeah, so this is just another idea of what to feed her. We're having breakfast. I'm actually going to try to start eating something with her when I feed her in the mornings because I don't eat enough. So this is going to be hers. Um, just a little bit of strawberries and a waffle. I'm going to cut it up, cut the waffle up. So she normally likes to dump it out. But that's okay. She can eat it off her tray. And then this is some fruit juice I'm giving her. I'm trying to switch it up because she drinks, mainly all she drinks is water. But trying to give her a little juice here and there. And again, I don't know if I've, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if I've said this yet or not, but... So far, we think she is, sorry, lactose intolerant. So that's why she doesn't get milk um, or yogurt or anything like that. Because anything like that, she has breaking out. She breaks out really bad. So they're apparently mowing the grass. But she seems to be enjoying it so far. I just put like one little dot of syrup and mix it up so it's not dry, so the waffles are not dry. But um, not much syrup at all because I don't want it to be a big sticky mess. But she likes it. Is that yummy? You like it? Yes. Good.